Hey guys, Sneaky Kitty Game Dev here, and in part four, we're gonna be basically doing the same thing as above, but purely in Blueprint. So I've never actually done this before, so I'm kind of winging this for the camera, but let or screen recorder. But let's see how it goes. So we have our C plus or our C plus plus actor that implements it. We have our Blueprint actor that implements it. Let's create a Blueprint version of this interface. So I'm gonna right click Blueprint class, and I guess let's just search for interface. Do, 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 do. I'm assuming there is one. Let me Google that. All right, so here's where it's obvious I didn't know what I was doing. We go right click, go to blueprints, and blueprint interface. So BP underscore interact interface. And we're going to kind of do the same thing in here. So first function is going to just be, well, let's actually mimic it. So we're going to have interact. And let's give it the return type of a float. I guess I need to compile. Let's see, how can I, there we go. Return type of a float. And there we go. Okay, not sure what it's doing there. But let's go ahead and remove that, remove the interface from it. So this is our box that destroys itself. So this guy, and let's go ahead and make it implement, I can delete that, the BP underscore interact interface. So we now have that. Go ahead and open that up. And we have the same thing. So let's just do destroy actor, because that's what we're doing before, and make it return value of 10. And that's literally it. You kind of call it the same way, but I can't call it from C++. In this case, I have to do it from Blueprint. So what I'm going to do is add that functionality right in here. So let's grab our follow camera. So component location, or get world location in this case. That's going to be our start. Let's get the forward vector. Let's multiply the forward vector by, do we not have multiplied by a float? Oh, awesome. Guess not. Let's multiply that by, what was it, 800? By 800, by 800. And then we can add these together. So let's add the two vectors. And from here, we're just going to do line, trace, single, by, channel. So our camera location is going to go into start. Our multiplied vector is going to go into end. We're on the visibility channel. Actors to ignore. Let's create a make array and add our self. Like so. And then we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and we'll just print out some actors that we hit just to kind of see. So hit actor, get the name, look down, press F, hit the cube, hit the box that destroys itself, hit the one that moves up. And yes, we are hitting everything we need to. There we go. So now that we know that, we can do the same kind of thing in Blueprint. So out, hit, hit actor. Let's check if this implements the interface bp underscore interact interface perform a branch so if it's true what we can do is simply call interact and as you can see it came up as a message hence this little envelope here so if it's true and the target is going to be the hit actor just like so then we have our parameters so let's print out the string like that. So now we should have the value of 10. So nothing, nothing, and something. So we got the value of 10. And it destroyed itself just like that. So that's kind of how you handle the blueprint, I guess you could say, blueprint interfaces. It's same kind of concept, very straightforward. You just lose the flexibility if you're going to be using C++. But again, that's entirely up to you. So that pretty much wraps up this series. And I can't really think of anything else, but if you have any other questions in regards to interfaces, feel free to leave them in the comments below in any of these videos, or join my Discord server, and I'll happily answer them. So, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series, along with a uh, Conquest Game Mode tutorial series, available. If you have any questions or anything like that, as I said before, feel free to hop in my Discord, and I'll gladly help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.